Morning, friends. Time for a story. Okay. Hands on your head. Eyes on me. If you're ready, say one, two, three. Okay. Easter story today by one of our favorites. She did the words and the pictures. That means she's the author and the illustrator. She's done lots of stories we've read. She's done the gingerbread baby, the gingerbread friends, the mitten. So it is our favorite, or maybe my favorite, I think you guys like her too, Jan Brett. And she wrote and illustrated this story called The Easter Egg. Look at those beautiful Easter eggs on the front. And we're going to find out in just a moment who this character is. He's going to be the character in our story. The person the story is about, or one of the characters. There'll be other characters, but he's the main character. The Easter Egg by Jan Brett. And I will do my best to show you all of these beautiful illustrations. A little trickier this way, but that's okay. Chirp, chirp. Spring is here. Time to start on my first ever Easter Egg, Hoppy said. Each year, the bunny who decorated the winning egg got to help the Easter rabbit hide the eggs on Easter morning. So this is Hoppy. He's the one we saw on the front, and he's one of the characters in our story. And this is the bird that was going, chirp, chirp, spring's here. So much to see on her beautiful illustrations. Hoppy had been dreaming about being that bunny all year long. Now it was time to get started. Everywhere Hoppy looked, rabbits were working on dazzling eggs. I need an amazing idea, he thought. Hoppy spotted Flora Bunny planting spring wildflowers in her eggs. The Easter rabbit will love those colorful flowers, he thought, and started picking flowers for his egg. Here's a basket for your flowers, Hoppy, Flora said. So those are Flora's eggs. So she's put flowers in her eggs. Very creative. Super pretty. And it looks like, like we had on the mitten, we might have a preview of what comes next. Let's see. Hmm, maybe not a preview, maybe just showing some other characters with eggs, because I see also on this page some eggs, a different character. Chop, chop, scrape, scrape. Hoppy spied Buster Birch carving a magnificent wooden egg. I wish I had some wood for my egg, he wished out loud. There you go, Hoppy, Buster Birch said, and he put a smooth round piece of wood in Hoppy's basket. Thank you, Buster, Hoppy said. So there's Buster, and he made his egg out of wood. He carves and uses different tools to carve it. And he was very kind and gave Hoppy a little bit. And then you can still see over on the side, there's some other characters with some, with some beautiful eggs. I don't know if these are all the characters that Hoppy runs into. We'll have to see. Hoppy was hopping along when the smell of sweetness led him out of the woods and straight to the chocolate egg. Mmm, that Aunt Sassafras was decorating with creamy frosting squiggles and bows. Hello, Hoppy, she said, and she put some chocolate squares in his basket. Hippity hop, Hoppy exclaimed. I'll make the Easter rabbit a chocolate egg so sweet it will make his whiskers tingle. <laughs> so there's the egg she's making. So she's put a little picture in it and she's decorated it with frosting different squiggles we see some other characters and we always see on each page on the side some other characters decorating eggs everybody wants to win the contest then hoppy saw granny irene decorating one of her fabulous story eggs first she traced a design on the egg with a special tool then she dipped the egg in pots of yellow, green, orange, and red dye, adding to the design each time. Hoppy couldn't believe his eyes. 
I'll never make an egg that beautiful, he told Granny Irene. She smiled. Try, she said, giving him one of her special tools. Look at those beautiful eggs she makes. Ooh, those are just beautiful. And there's a couple more characters over on the side decorating their eggs. Lots of creative eggs. Mm. Hoppy was hopping by Hans, Hans van der Rabbit's garden when he spotted an extraordinary egg. Hans was painting a portrait of the Easter rabbit, so real that he looked alive. Fantastic, Hoppy exclaimed. Oh, thank you, Hoppy, Hans said. Why don't you make a painting on your egg? He gave Hoppy pots of paint and a fine brush. So I'll show you first. There's the portrait, which means it's a picture of the Easter rabbit, like his, his portrait, his face. So he's painting that on his egg. He looks like a real artist, doesn't he, with his art palette? Mrs. Dentel would like that, wouldn't she? She would be impressed. And there's a, oh, I like this one over here. Lots of other characters making them. Looks like they're making them to match their shirts, huh? <laughs> As Hoppy bounced along, a loud boing nearly knocked him off his feet. It was a whirling, twirling, mechanical egg. Whoa, Hoppy said, that's an unusual egg. Would you like to make one? Roberto asked. Hoppy tried hard, but the harder he tried, the more parts and pieces piled up around him. Oh, thank you, Roberto, he sighed, but I think I better make an egg, the egg that is right for me. So there's the mechanical egg that Roberto made. Pretty cool, huh? And it pulls a little cart with some eggs. And there's Roberto. And there was the one that Hoppy was trying and didn't just go, didn't go quite well, quite right. Then we see some other characters on the side making some different kind of eggs. Hoppy hopped back to the woods and lay down under a tall tree to think. <sighs> making a beautiful egg is harder than I imagined, he thought. I guess I don't have to win. I just want to make an egg I'm proud of. So there's Hoppy sitting down thinking. And there's some other characters on the side with some other eggs. Suddenly the woods rang with a squawking of birds sounding an alarm. Mother Robin swooped down calling wildly as if she couldn't decide where to go. An egg had tumbled out of Mother Robin's nest. Inside the perfect blue egg was a baby robin that needed its mother to keep it warm until it hatched. Oh no, right there. The egg fell out of the nest. Oh no. Let's see what happens. Hoppy knew what he had to do. He sat down carefully and covered the blue egg with his soft, warm fur. I'll take care of you the best I can, he whispered. Relieved, Mother Robin chirped and settled down on her other two eggs. Oh, what a kind thing to do. So he's going to help. There's Mother Robin. She's going to take care of her other eggs. And Hoppy's going to take care of this one for her. What a kind thing to do. Just show you the eggs on the side, the rabbits and eggs on the side. Oh, I won't miss that. Right there. Hoppy never left the robin's egg. If it was sunny and warm, he carefully turned the egg in its nest of moss. If it was rainy and cold, he kept the egg covered and dry. I'll show you that first. At night, wild animals passed by. Hoppy crouched down and stayed hidden in the ferns. Often he heard strange noises coming from above, but Hoppy didn't run away. He 
was very good at taking care of that egg. Every day the rabbits worked on their eggs. Tadpoles turned into frogs, buds swelled into leaves, and Easter came closer and closer. Finally, it was time for the rabbits to take their eggs to the glen. They had forgotten all about Hoppy, who was quietly sitting on the blue egg under the tall tree in the woods. So they're all heading, heading in with their eggs. Another one coming over here. And then in this picture, you see Hoppy sitting and taking care of that robin's egg still. Take it a minute to look at all of these eggs. Okay, let's see what happens. Early the next morning, the rabbits waited for the Easter rabbit. Suddenly, a beautiful wagon rolled toward them out of the mist. Here comes the wagon. That must be the Easter rabbit. And it's being pulled by some um, French hens, it looks like. I think. And here's all the other characters waiting for the Easter rabbit. And here's Hoppy over here still taking care of that egg. Let's see what happens. Oh, it looks like it's not an egg anymore. It looks like it's a baby robin. Can you see that? Aww. So suddenly a beautiful wagon rolled toward them out of the mist and stopped. The Easter Bunny stepped down from the wagon and admired the decorated eggs. You have brought the most beautiful eggs in the world, but a very special one is not here, he told them. The rabbits were puzzled. Whose egg could it be? So there's the Easter rabbit. And over here, there's Hoppy taking care of that baby robin. Fill my wagon with your wonderful eggs, he said. When I return, I will show it to you. Because he said there's a special egg missing. And he disappeared into the woods. So there's all the eggs that they made and decorated beautiful eggs into his wagon. And he's headed into the woods. All right. He came back with Hoppy, looking scruffy and bedraggled, which means he was tired. Hoppy has an amazing egg to be proud of, the Easter rabbit told them. He has kept Mother Robin's egg warm and safe until her baby bird hatched and she could take care of it. The Easter rabbit placed the empty blue shell in the place of honor. Now they were ready to go. So he has decided that was the most special egg because of what Hoppy did. Hoppy was very kind and caring and helped out someone else and didn't worry about what about the contest anymore because it was more important to help Mother Robin with her baby. The rabbits cheered for the egg that had surprised them all. It is our best Easter ever, Hoppy, they shouted. Then the brave little bunny and the Easter rabbit rode off together to hide the eggs for girls and boys to find on Easter morning. So Hoppy was more concerned about helping and taking care of someone than making a special egg. And he was honored by the Easter bunny for his choices because he was such a kind friend. And so we call that selfless. Didn't think of just himself, thinking of others and how he could help. So nice. All right. I know that was a long one. Feel free to tell me what you think of the story or maybe your favorite part or your favorite egg. Miss you guys. Be good. Mwah. Love you.